The Express and Echo has again got a front page on the low traffic neighbourhood experiment in Havertree and Whipton. Um, th th this is just a little bit of reality. I, li I, I live very close to Robinson's News, so I know I, I saw. I, I look at North Street in Havertree and it seems to me that there is more traffic there than there used to be. Um, the story in the, in the Echo is is based on the meeting, which was a little while ago now, and it says that um, the Ladysmith row, Road traffic is reduced, but I, I think that's because it's all coming out in another, another way out of the area. Um, the other, what, two two days ago, three days ago, um, the the traffic around about quarter to nine was back from um, the junction with with the Havertry shops, right back to Robinson's and going up towards Ladysmith. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll t I took some photos. They're not very good photos, but. I'll, I'll take this bit of sound and add them to it. Um, and th this this sort of gets towards fiction or drama because um, I find if I if I just sort of say it's just my imagination or, or something, you know, like like cyclists on the pavement. I've, I've been twittering um, or p putting myself into my own play as somebody who just imagines that there are cycles on the pavement so maybe i've got to do this in the same sort of way um there are some people who imagine that north street in Havertree has more traffic than it used to have um and then because I, I well i don't think that devon county council have any numbers about it i don't think they knew they know i don't think they've got anything to compare it with even if they started checking out North Street now I may I may be completely wrong about that um, but anyway for new listeners and for people in Plymouth who might be listening who, who find this all quite strange what's going on with this um, I, I have I have to just start to do a, a play based on on the bus stop so because of previous experiments or ideas around the bus stop we have the the bus stop as a character it used to be a talking bus stop but it's now got artificial intelligence and um voice interfaces and um it 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 accumulates knowledge it knows what's going on um so it's a sort of chorus or host for various discussions and um it's sort of round the corner from north street it's on south lawn terrace which is also getting quite um, some would say, well, in my imagination, or what I think I can remember from a few days ago, it's also getting quite, quite, quite busy. Well, quite slow in a slow sort of way. Um, it's a three-act play now. Uh, that's what I'm working on, working on. One is just a whole series of um, tense situations disjointed explanations various ideas about what's going on um, but the second part of it would be when the idea of um, a 15 minute city or a 15 minute garden city is addressed because um, th this this seems to come over completely negative be because on social media it's it's been um, captured by people who are against it who who say it's going to allow local authorities to force people to only shop on a Tuesday or that would be the people in Hebertry whereas people in Whipton would shop on a Thursday and um, the shops would be kept free from any footfall at all other days of the week um, th th there's all these sort of crazy ideas which crop up on social media but actually um, the 15 minute city is, is a, it sounds like a very sensible idea but it depends on there being 
resources uh, there's got to be local shops and that's that's the bit that's that's quite missing so that the echo, the echo today um, has got a very positive spin on what's going on apart from the the, the objectors so they've got a photograph of the people who who have these stop the blocks and against LTNs and then they've got this selection of very positive stats um, but there's no mention at all about the, the, the problems with the traders so the fact that the newsagent is distributing leaflets from the print shop opposed to to the the experiment why why is that and there's nothing there's nothing in this particular echo article about um what they think and previous previous stories have have, have, have mentioned problems coming from from traders so and I, th I think that's because Dev Devon County Council have no planning scope other than tr than transportation. That's all they're responsible for. So the the in the drama, uh, once you get to the idea of the fifteen minute city or the garden city based on the pleasure ground, Heavetry Pleasure Ground as a, as a sort of centre for that, uh, you at least have some sort of discussion, some sort of consultation. And again, I'm just going to say I'm imagining this, but I, d I don't think I'm alone. A lot of people d don't think there's been any consultation in the sense that they understand a consultation, but that's just part of the, the chaos or difficulty s phase. Um, and then there will be a third act in which there's some sort of resolution, but I, I, what's going to be in that, I, I don't know. No, no idea what that's going to be. Um, but the... The dramatic development um, during this idea about a, a, a 15 minute city will be an independent candidate so there will be in the in the in the um, in the drama in the fiction uh, an independent candidate who just wants to stop the experiment that's all they want to do they stand on that issue um, in whatever elections going on in May next year and um, so it's called Three Thursdays in May and uh, it'll be the last Three Thursdays because I think the first Thursday is an actual election and probably couldn't do uh, a lot of um, speculative fictional broadcasting uh, b ahead of the election but you probably could afterwards and there might be uh, social media about it in the in the meantime